I just learned how to integrate this Snow of ZB 3.0 USB dongle plus P into Home Assistant. Let's see how to set it up. I'm running Home Assistant in a Docker container using Docker Compose on Debian OS. So I will show it here in that way. First, we plug in the ZB USB dongle into the computer. So here, my computer is Orange Pi 03. Open the terminal and execute this command to find the ZB USB dongle device path. I leave the command in the description. You can get it from there. Obviously, the ZB USB dongle is a TTY USB 0. This device path. The next step is mounting the ZB USB dongle into the Home Assistant Docker container. We modify the Docker Compose script to add these few lines and save it. After that, we need to restart the Docker container for changes to take effect. We can run Docker Compose Restart to restart the container. Just in case restart doesn't work, do a clean restart by Docker Compose Down and Docker Compose Up D. Then we log into the Home Assistant and configure the ZB USB dongle. Go to Setting, click Devices and Services. The ZB USB dongle should appear under the Discover section. We can directly click the config button to set it up. In case it doesn't appear there, we can click the add integration button at the right corner. Search and select ZBit Home Automation. Select the ZBit USB dongle device path. Select create a new network for network formation. Now we can pair our ZBit devices according to the manufacturer instruction. For my Smart 3 ZBit switch, long press any button until the LED indicated light blinks to enter pairing mode. We go back to the Home Assistant and pair the device. Click the Add Integration button. Search and select Add ZBit Device. Devices should be discovered on the page. When it's paired, I can control my switch in the Home Assistant. I also take a further step to bridge the switch into Apple HomeKit. Hey Siri, switch off the seeing light. Hey Siri, switch on the ceiling light. That's all for this video, thanks for your watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, or leave a comment. See you in my next video.